Hey everybody, Jeff here, and welcome back to the channel. Hey, I got some kind of um, sad R.I.P. type news for y'all. So I don't know if you've heard the news that's been going around the last couple of days, but it appears like ShopVac might actually be shutting down completely. We don't know if it's going to be 100%, but it's looking pretty major here. So if you look at some of the news headlines here that we see coming out here over the last couple of days, you can see that they're um, going to be closing their Williamsport, Pennsylvania facility. And it's going to leave 400 people without a job. And so I was just checking here on North Central PAs where they have a story about it. And supposedly what happened was a couple of shocking revelations here. So here's part of um, some notification that came from the company where it says, we regret that we were unable to provide you with more notice. The current global pandemic and economic crisis has left the company in dire financial conditions. The company accordingly had been negotiating the sale of the business as a going concern, which if such sale had been completed would have enabled us to stay in business and continue the employment of employees. We fully anticipated the sale to be completed and for the buyer to hire all employees. So that was a, a letter that they gave to its employees. What's interesting now, this letter was in, was in accordance with this Worker Adjustment Retraining Notifications Act. It's called the WARN Act. And supposedly what the news media is saying is that ShopVac was in violation of this WARN Act because they just abruptly shut everything down on Tuesday and laid everybody off. When you're doing a mass layoff, you're required to give 60 days notice and it appears that ShopVac did not, if, if these stories are correct. So their letter here, as you can see, it goes on here to say, unfortunately, the buyer, without warning, walked away from the deal. This unforeseeable business circumstance has left us with no choice but to close our facility. Wow, so they had 400 employees there at that facility. That's just unbelievable. Yeah, so what's really shocking and sad here, folks, is that uh, not only were the employees informed that they had lost their jobs, according to multiple employees, uh, but they were also informed their insurance and benefits would be terminated. Well, that's, that's just terrible news. To get that all in one wham-bang like that and no advance notice or anything. Uh, so I don't know what's going to happen. And, you know, that's kind of strange to so you're saying that ShopVac, so ShopVac then, uh, they're trying to tell us that they didn't have enough money, even enough cash on hand, to give severance for these people, to give any kind of payment towards any of their medical benefits? That's what really has me kind of uh, scratching my head here, trying to figure out what's going on with this. I mean, this company must have really been hurting and I know they're they're trying to blame the coronavirus, but you know what? ShopVac laid off a whole bunch of people last year too. You know, right in the middle of 2019, when things were going really good in the economy. So I don't understand what's going on. All of the other vacuum manufacturers must be—they are seemingly doing okay. Why would ShopVac, who arguably has the household name, it's hard to figure out what what exactly is going wrong over there? It looks like of the 427 workers, there was 118 assemblers that get affected, 70 technicians, 31 forklift drivers and operators, 20 managers and assistant managers, 11 directors, 10 engineers, 12 packers and repackers. You got 14 shipping clerks and laborers, and another 141 people that did various jobs around the factory now the now shopvac also has facilities in binghampton new york and in shenzhen china so it'll be interesting to see whether any of those facilities are going to be shut down or not now i've actually owned a couple of different shop vacs over the years so for example the uh the two gallon size one here that you see in the picture 
Um, I still have this one and I still use it on occasion. It's kind of limping along. It's It's got old age. But you know, um, let me tell you folks something. I have been kind of not so much of a fan of ShopVac in the last few years because I think their quality has gone downhill over the last several years. And one thing I noticed with my shop facts that I had was that they were getting harder and harder to turn on. Their power switches were not very good. I used to love the old days back in like the, the late 90s when their shop facts had like the big red or the big green button and you would push one or the other to turn on or off. And then they started switching to these much more unreliable buttons that didn't quite hold up, especially in in the you know drywall dusty environments and so that's why when you look at this picture here you can see that big one that i had that we had that contraption that we made uh, i sold that for like 40 bucks on craigslist earlier in this year i mean it came with all sorts of stuff that was worth probably well over 200 dollars. we did that uh, video a few months back where we tested the suction of different vacuums that we had and ran all sorts of tests on them so that was really the last time I had that shop back there before I got rid of it see here was a story from back in early 2019 where shop vac was going to lay off one-third of its Kirkwood workforce up there and so what's interesting here is they laid off 144 people and that was in New York at the Binghampton so an interesting development that this was sort of a precursor to what was happening over a year later now to this week so we probably should have seen the handwriting on the wall back then okay now while we're on the subject of breaking news if you go to our videos tab here on youtube make sure you look at these videos here that we uploaded uh, tonight we did that live stream in lowe's showing you some pretty incredible deals on the outdoor power equipment but then the other breaking news all this week, which we've been covering here these last few videos, was that $99 ladder there from Werner that was on sale at Home Depot, and it still is, from $229 down to $99. And as far as I can tell, probably 150 people have bought this ladder after seeing our three or four videos here on it this week. So if you haven't seen it, you can see it right there in the picture. If you guys haven't bought that ladder yet, you've got to get down there. I bought mine yesterday. And so what we did was, let's pull up the video here just for a quick second. So here I showed you a bunch of them stacked up at our local Home Depot yesterday. And we showed you what a great deal that was. So anyway, if you want to get it, a lot of people told me they had the most success by clicking on the link to it right here in our video, which you can see right here. And by doing that, they'll have the order picked for you at the store. So you order it online, and you pick it up in the store. That way you won't miss out on it. So what happened was a lot of people had said it was a good thing they did that, because when they got down there, there was none left. So that's your best bet. Like if you just sleep on it overnight and wait too long and get in there in the morning, you could be out. So we've had a number of people tell us that they had to run around between several Home Depots to get one available just wanted to give you another bit of breaking news on this ladder here so if you want to order it come here to our video for it and then go down into the video description there and you'll see the link for it right there and i hope you enjoyed this one and if you found this informational please give us a thumbs up down below that tells us that you like us and if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet make sure you go ahead and do that now and then click the gray bell icon next to the subscribe button so that YouTube will alert you every time we upload a video. Well, that's it for this one, folks. Thank you so much, and we'll see you on the next one.